welcome to Dari Maran YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about variable injection timing that is VAT and super VAT and FQS in Maran DC engine. FQS can be, we will be discussing in the next video but because we because this is a big topic we will divide it part by part. So in this video we will be discussing about VAT and super VAT that is variable injection timing and super VAT. Okay, let's move on to topic in detail. Okay, in the last article we discussed about port control helix jerk pump and speed suction and spill control fuel pump okay the port control helix jerk pump using bnw and four stroke engines and spill suction and spill port control fuel pump so in the in those pumps we mentioned about injection timing they are in those injection timings are controlled by vat and super vat mechanism so we will discuss about this mechanism in detail what is vat and why is it required so basic thing we are have curious about now what is vat and all if there is no vat in engine the maximum firing pressure of the engine will decrease and engine power will be reduced and thus reduce thermal efficiency. If there is no variation in, engine, in injection timing, the maximum firing pressure of the engine will decrease depending upon the load and so that engine power will get reduced so therefore thermal efficiency also reduced. Okay? So maximum firing of maximum firing pressure of the engine will reduce so that engine power will re reduce and th finally thermal efficiency will also reduce. To improve thermal efficiency and specific fuel oil consumption, it is necessary to keep the maximum pressure even at low loads. Okay, to improve the thermal efficiency and to specific fuel oil consumption, it is necessary to keep maximum pressure even at low loads. So this can be achieved by advancing the fuel oil injection timing at low loads called VAT. Okay, this can be achieved by advancing the fuel injection timing at low load called VAT. So mean if there is no VAT meet, maximum firing pressure of the engine will decrease, engine power is decreases, finally engine thermal efficiency will be also decreases. So, to improve the thermal efficiency and specific fuel load construction, it is necessary to keep the maximum pressure even at low loads. So, this is achieved by using the injection timing at low load, by ad achieved by advancing the injection timing at low load called VAT. Okay. Here we can see a graph. Here, fuel index normal graph and VAT, when, when water will happen when the, we use VAT during the 85 to 100% period without VAT and with VAT, we can see. Without VAT, there will be slight variation, but VAT during with VAT means we will supply extra fuel so that it will not have any variation depending on when the during the load. Working of VAT in sulfur RT engines, we can say means VAT will be get a variable beginning of injection plus variable ending of injection. That is your adjustable timing of injection. Okay. In this method, injection timing is varied so that maximum combustion pressure or Pmax at low load thereby achieving the maximum combustion pressure at 75 to 100% at load rate ok See, like I mentioned in the graph during the during the 75 to 100% at load rate we will be achieving maximum combustion pressure so maximum injection timing is varied so that maximum combustion pressure will be achieved at low load this is what here a plain plunger cylinder that will reciprocate inside the barrel ok and this plunger moves up and down the two better levers operate suction valve and spill valve push loads which will open suction and spill valve as short okay okay two plain cylinders two plain cylinder plunger reciprocal and cell barrel and this plunger moves up and down and two pivotal levers operate suction valve and spill valve which will open the suction and spill valve when cam follower is on the base cycle of cam suction valve is open and same time spill valve is closed when the when the cam is on the base cycle of cam then suction valve is open and same time spill valve is closed as the plunger moves up the barrel suction valve rod moves downwards and suction valve closes then fuel injection starts so that spill valve is slightly open and fuel is delivered through no lateral valve to fill the test as the plunger continues upwards the spill valve push rod will open spill valve and pressure of the plunger will fall and injection will cease this is what its working is you, it means a plain plunger a plain plunger is focused inside the barrel as plunger moves up and down, two pivotal levers open suction valve and spill valve and push valves, push valves which will open suction and spill valve. Okay, when the cam follower is on the base cycle of cam, that means suction valve is open and spill valve is closed. And as the plunger moves up the barrel, the suction valve road moves downwards and suction valve is closes. But fuel injection sta then starts and fuel is delivered to the non return valve and to the fuel injection. As the plunger continues upwards, the spill valve push road will open the spill valve and pressure above the plunger will fall and in the injection will cease. So here is the picture, the spill and suction valve, there will be two levers can be seen and depend upon the cam, cam motion. When the cam is on the base, we can see suction valve is open, the spill valve is closed. As it moves up, 
the suction valve will close and seal valve is slightly open and fuel will be starting through a non return valve. The pump ignition timing can be varied by raising or lowering the position of suction and seal valve. Yes, five. That means pump ignition timing can be varied by raising or lowering the position and suction of spill valve. And raising or lowering of suction and spill valve position are done by changing the position of eccentric. Yes, the raising and lowering of suction and spill valve are done by changing the position of eccentric. Raising the valve implies earlier timing. That means by lowering the valve implies later timing. Raising valve valve means timing is earlier. Lowering means later. Suction valve controls beginning of injection. Suction valve will control the beginning of injection. That is timing of injection. While spill valve controls end of injection and quality of fuel. Spill valve controls the beginning of injection and the timing of injection. While spill valve controls the end of injection. That is quality of fuel. Okay. Here, pump injection timing can be varied by raising or lowering the position of suction and spill valve. Like I mentioned. But here, raising or lowering of suction and spill valve are done by changing the position of eccentric cam. Okay. The raising of valve implies means earlier timing. And lowering means later timing. So suction valve controls the beginning of injection, that is typing of injection, and spill valve will control controls the end of injection, that is quantity of fuel which can be injected. Super VAT means it is just a VAT method only, but it is used in BMW engines like SMC, KL series and all. Super VAT is also like the adjustable timing plus adjustable break point. Okay. VAT like I mentioned it is in the Sulfur RTA engine, but the super VAT means the mechanism is same but used in BMW engine like SMC KL series means adjustable timing plus adjustable break point. What is break point? Means it is a load point where maximum cylinder pressure has been reached and injection timing has been advanced the most. Break point is a it is a load point where maximum cylinder pressure has been reached and injection timing has been advanced the most. Okay. Above break point, the injection timing is gradually retarded back. Until it reaches its original setting, that is 100% MCR load, and generally it is 85% MCR load. Okay. Above break point, injection timing is gradually retarded by comeback. But until it reaches original setting, that is 100% MCR load, gradually we set this set at 85% MCR load. Okay. Break point it means it is a load point where maximum cylinder pressure has been reached and injection timing has been advanced the most. Okay. Above the break injection break point, injection timing will not happen and it will gradually retard back. But and usually we set it at 100% MCR load, but generally it is placed at 85% MCR, maximum continuous rating load. So super VAT incorporates both adjustable timing as well as adjustable break point. Okay. So super VAT mechanism consists of a jerk type pump and with double thread VAT regulating lever, VAT position servo and a control air signal position servo units with input from the governor and fuel quality setting lever regulatory shaft and all. So here super VAT it consists of both adjustable timing as well as adjustable break point. The super VAT mechanism consists of jerk type pump with a double thread and VAT regulating lever, the VAT position servo and control air signal position servo unit with the input from the governor and all. Fuel quality setting that is it and regulatory shaft and all. These are some of the parts it consists of so that consists in the super VAT. Means with both incorporates both adjustable timing as well as adjustable break point. Then in this method, jerk type fuel pump does not have a profile. In the super VAT, the jerk type profile does not have a fuel pump does not have a profile. That means no extra oblique cut on the plunger. The particular position of the pump barrel is raised or lower to change the starting of injection by rack and pinion mechanism and a double thread. Okay, the vertical position of pump barrel is whether it, is, it can raise or lower to change the starting injection by rack and pinion mechanism of the double thread. And upper thread control the suction port. Upper thread will control the suction port and the commencement of injection by changing the vertical position of barrel with respect to plunger. So upper thread will control the suction suction port and the commencement of injection by changing the vertical position of the pump barrel with respect to plunger. And lower thread control the speed port. Lower thread will control the speed port and fuel quantity and end of injection by rotating the heli scroll of the plunger with respect to plunge port. Okay, the lower thread will control the spill port and fuel quantity and the end of injection by rotating the heli scroll of the plunger. Okay. In this type, we can say jerk type fuel pump, that does not have a profit, that means no extra oblique cut on the plunger. The vertical position of the pump barrel is raised or lowered to change the starting of injection by rack and pinion mechanism and upper thread control the suction port and commencement of injection by changing the vertical position of pump barrel with respect to plunger and lower thread will control the speed port that is fuel quantity and end of injection 
by rotating the heli scroll of the plunger with respect to spill port. And VAT rack setting is controlled according to engine load via regulating shaft and governor. Yes, VAT rack position setting is done by means of control signal supply which pushes the VAT rack position server. Control air position sensor valve gets its input from the governor and fuel quality setting lever and regulating shaft. Means VAT rack setting is controlled according to engine load via and regulating shaft and governor. VAT that means rack position setting it is controlled by according to engine load via a regulating shaft and governor and VAT rack position setting is done by means of control signal supply that will push us the VAT rack position servo and down and controller position sensor ball get its input from governor and FQS lever and regulatory shaft ok the VAT rack position servo they will control the position control air position sensor will get into input from the governor and FQS lever and regulatory shaft this is what happening in the VAT rack here we can see fuel pump, servo, VAT rack timing and all this is basing of a VAT control of a MAN BMW MC engine. Error 5 bar, 5.5 bar, pressure and all. Fuel quality setting, fuel pump timing, VAT servo, VAT rack setting and all. Due to the VAT verification timing, the fuel pump will adjust the fuel rack setting or fuel rack quantity and all. So that they can maintain load at a, even at a, a variable timing, they can maintain have to keep the maximum pressure they have to keep the maximum pressure even at low load this is advanced by fuel oil injection timing at low load called super VAT or VAT in next video we will be discussing about FQS and all so we are stopping thank you